Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be showing you all an updated trim on my hair. It has been a month too long since I needed a trim, but I am going to tackle it today. I am starting off on blown out hair. This is what I normally do when I do a trim, unless I am doing a silk press or something of that nature. So I'm just running my hands through it, just making sure I get all of those tangles out before I get started with sectioning my hair. I am going to section my hair into two little buns in the front and then I will be working through the back section all together. Due to the length of my hair, I am going to pull my hair up in the back so that I can see it very clearly. As you all can see, you can begin to see the frayed ends and exactly what we need to trim. I am using real hair scissors, which are hair shears. And I do recommend that everyone use hair shears when cutting their hair because you can mess up your hair strands if you use kitchen scissors or even craft scissors. And I'm doing that on each side and I'm being very careful to just take off the ends that need to go. Once that section is complete, I am going to continuously move up through the back section of my hair, making horizontal cuts just like this. Once my horizontal cuts are complete, I am going to split that back section in half because it is time for us to make sure that everything is even before we go in to do our vertical cuts. And I am grabbing larger sections just to make sure everything is even and I am cleaning those ends up. One thing I noticed about my hair is that the back of my hair tends to grow a little bit faster than the rest of my hair. I do not know the science behind it or the reason why, but I am just going to work with it and take off a little bit more in the back to catch up with the rest of my hair. Once we have evened that back section horizontally, I am going to go in and do a few vertical cuts. This is how you make sure that you get all of the split ends with inside of the hair. I will say that doing vertical cuts as well as the horizontal cuts, it does take time, but I have found great results from doing this because it makes sure that I get most of my split ends myself. And I just like to go back behind myself just to make sure that everything is nice and even. And this is another cleanup cut I am doing here after doing my vertical cuts and getting the split ends that are on the insides of my hair. Mm -hmm. 
I did have to lose the cape only so that I could see better, but right here I'm just swinging half of my hair in the back around just to make sure that when the hair falls down, it is going to fall very evenly. So I'm swinging it around on the other side as well and kind of folding it in just like that and combing the hair out so that I can make a clear horizontal cut and that my hair will match in the back. And I repeat this process on the top half of my back section. Now moving on to the front, I'm using the same techniques that I used in the back, starting off with my horizontal cuts and getting away of those frayed ends. I am pulling the hair in two different directions to ensure that I can see very clearly and that I can get those split ends off. I'm going to continuously move up throughout this section with the horizontal cuts um, in two different directions um, until the section is complete. I will say that trimming your hair in the front is so much easier than trimming your hair in the back because you just can see a little bit better. And I'm making sure that while I move up throughout the hair, I'm measuring the hair against previous sections to make sure that everything is even. And now I am going in with my vertical cuts just to make sure that I am getting all of those split ends and all of those frayed pieces away. Once that section is complete, you're going to want to repeat that process on the other side of your head and you're most definitely going to want to pull both of those sections together because we want to make sure that both sides are even and equivalent. So I'm starting off in the center of my head and I'm pulling up the hair and what I am going to do is even the hair out. As you all can see, both sides are currently not even so we are going to correct that and fix that now. And as we create this guide in the middle of our head, we're going to grab sections of that hair we just trimmed and add it onto the hair that was trimmed previously. And we're gonna travel that on both sides of our head to make sure that the front of our hair is just as even as the hair in the back. Once you have finished making your trims, you're going to want to remove those clips. And what I like to do is go back behind my hair with a blow dryer to get all of that hair out that I have trimmed already, as well as any shattered hair that wants to come as well. And that is pretty much it. As always, I hope you all enjoyed the video and found it very useful. Trims are so important, so I hope that you do them too. I can't wait to see you all in the next video. See ya!